Molly May Haig is a British influencer who came second in the fifth series of Love Island. The 22-year-old has amassed more than 6 million followers on Instagram and after leaving Love Island was given a six-figure deal with the fashion brand Pretty Little Thing. She now serves for that company as a creative director. Now, you might think this all makes Molly May pretty lucky, but speaking to the Diary of a CEO podcast, she was clear that her fame and success is all down to hard work. Beyonce has the same 24 hours in a day that, that we do. And I just mm. think like it's literally, you, you're given one life and it's down to you what you do with it. Like you can literally go in any direction. And when I've spoken about that before in the past, I have been slammed a little bit with people saying, you know, like it's easy for you to say that, you know, you've grown up and you've not grown up in poverty. You've not grown up, you know, with major money struggles. So if you to sit there and say that we all have the same 24 hours in a day, it's not correct. And I'm like, but technically what I'm saying is correct. We, we do. So I understand that obviously we all have different backgrounds and we're all raised in different ways and we do have different financial situations but I think if you want something enough you can achieve it and it just depends to what lengths you want to go to get where you want to be in the future and I'll go to any lengths like I, I've worked my absolute arse off to get where I am now a lot of people don't think that and believe that but it's true I've worked so so hard so it is technically true we all do have the same 24 hours and therefore according to Molly May if you want to be as wealthy as her you better work a bit harder the video has now had um, over 10 million views. Molly May got thoroughly rinsed on social media for those comments. The original account that posted the video captioned it by saying, if you're homeless, just buy a house, as a, a summary of her attitude. Journalist Louis Staples also tweeted this one went viral. Molly May is a prime example of how influencers promote individualist narratives and a very right-wing worldview. Thatcherite talking points dressed up in inspirational influencers speak. And our very own Ash Sarkar with another viral tweet. I, for one, did not see it coming that a woman whose £500,000 branding deal is built on the backs of garment workers paid £3.50 an hour might have horrific views on poverty and social mobility. The reference there is to Pretty Little Thing, the company that pays Molly May half a million quid. That company is part of Boohoo, which is notorious for using factories which pay as little as £3.50 an hour. Some of those are in Leicester and were associated with COVID outbreaks when they kept running during lockdown. We've talked about that on previous shows. Aaron, what do you make of the backlash around those comments from Molly May? I think any 22-year-old who's kind of giving life advice to the rest of the world kind of needs to get a group. You're 22. You're 22, <laughs> right? How much, how much the world do you know? I mean, when I was 22, Michael, I couldn't even... I'm being... This isn't... A, I'm, not, I'm not using sort of... A metaphor here. I, I literally couldn't keep a houseplant alive when I was 22. So I don't quite understand how she thinks that she's kind of the oracle on how you can live your life and overcome all obstacles. Yes, of course, like you say, there are literally 24 hours in the day, but we all are differently abled. We all have different backgrounds. What if you've got, you know, you've got to be a carer for your, your mum or your dad or brother or sister? What if you had a really troubling childhood and it's given you addiction problems? Great quote by Gabor Mate, dad of Aaron Mate. Don't ask why the addiction, ask why the pain. And there's many, many addicts in our society of all kinds. And that's not to stigmatize it, they just are. And they, they, they opt not always, but that often comes from a place of pain. So if she, doesn't, if she doesn't get that, I'm very happy for her on a personal level, but it's deeply damaging to use that as a basis by which to understand society and furthermore, by which to run society and by which to say these institutions and these ways of doing things are legitimate because anybody can be a success story. Yes, in the abstract, of course they could, but I find this just such a ridiculous way of looking at things. You know, I could get a stone and I could walk down the street and I could throw a stone at a window and it wouldn't smash. And I could say, you know what, when I throw stones at windows, they don't smash. That's a universal law. It always applies. Therefore, you can throw as many stones at windows as you like. You know what? Pretty quickly, I'd be found out to be completely wrong. And so when people say, well, look at this person, they came from a really tough background and they've done so well, I'm happy for them. But that's no basis upon which to build society. And, and, and anybody who thinks that fundamentally there's a level playing field is either delusional or they're unaware of the facts because there the clearly isn't a, a level playing field. Of all the people, Michael, before we went on air today, I was watching GB News and there was the uh, Pimlico Plumbers guy you know, Charlie, what's it, Charlie Mullins. And he was saying precisely this. 
so look, there's two groups of people here who I think are kind of suckers. First is Molly May, but then the people who are sort of listening to a 22 year old talk about grind set and mindset and how to get ahead. Do yourselves a favor if you have children. Tell them to A, not listen to this. And if you do listen to this, you're a Muppet. Enjoy yourself. Don't worry about hustle culture and side hustles. Do what you're passionate about. Do what you enjoy. And if you are successful, Christ, be humble about it. I worked hard. What, going to a villa for however many months? That's working hard? Again, I'm happy for you if you've done super well, but it's, it's not working hard. There are people getting up at three, four in the morning, getting two, three buses to go into central London or to Manchester or Birmingham to clean offices, to stack shelves, to drive the buses. That's hard work. And without those people, society doesn't function. And I say that as somebody, Michael, look, we here in our media, we love our jobs. We think we're doing useful jobs, important jobs. I think we are. But we're not doing what people do cleaning hospitals or care work for the elderly, the very basic essentials and foundations for society to continue. So get a grip, be humble, enjoy the fact you're so successful, but stop pontificating to the rest of us. All right, Aaron, I want to put forward the other side of the argument. Most of Twitter, it's fairly sort of left-wing space, I think, generally, was ripping into Molly May. I've got a right-wing take for you. This is Tom Harwood, GB News commentator. So he tweeted, the right, quotes, you can do it with hard work and self-belief. The left, you will never achieve it. The world is set against you. Don't bother trying. Individuals have no real agency. Everything is hopeless. And he says, I know which mindset I prefer. Um, I think he also went on to say, I know which mindset will make people more successful. Um, Aaron, how would you respond to that argument? Well, look, it's very easy to make an argument when you're asserting the argument to the people you disagree with, which is factually inaccurate. The left literally <laughs> says that the work, no, the, the left, literally the basis of left wing egalitarian politics is to change society through ordinary people seeking political agency and transforming the world so that it's more equal and it better serves their interests. And by better serving the interests of ordinary people, it better serves the interests of society at large rather than a narrow elite. So it's a ridiculous, it's a ridiculous thing to say, Michael. I mean, it's a ridiculous. It's even, you know, it's at odds with like Marxism. The whole project of political Marx, we don't need to talk about Marxism, but let's do it. The whole project is to transform society in the interests of working class people. The point is, what's your theory of change? For Molly May, actually, things don't change. So you do it at the level of the individual. For the left, we say, well, no, look, these are social problems. And so we have to act at scale and collectively. That's not to say, that's not to say, you know what, application is super important. Having a vision for what you want to do or achieve is super important. That doesn't need to be a business. It can be being a good parent. It can be being a good friend. You know, if your friend has ever has depression or maybe seems down, call them. That makes a big difference, right? That's about being mindful and acting intentionally in the world. Super healthy. I'm glad for you if you're a good friend or a good parent or a good child, a good son, daughter. Great. But that is not, that's not the, the, the way that we should be sort of trying to solve the housing crisis. So we'll solve the housing crisis by telling everybody to just work as hard as they can to get on the housing ladder. Well, no, because houses are nine, 10 times the average wage. How is that going to work unless you have collective action around low wages? There's a problem there. So... I think I think also he's more intelligent than that himself. He's 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 building a straw man, which is uh, which is fatuous. Of course, the argument he's making is a coherent one. It's also got no basis in reality. Also, though, I mean, I do think there is space for individual success and individual, you know, innovation, whatever. But the left wing take is, if you do have that achievement, you recognise that it was only possible because of you know your yes effort was involved, but yes, also your social situation was necessarily involved. And that means that if you've made it, it's a responsibility to try and get rid of those barriers for other people, which is what this complete false consciousness lie, which says that if you've achieved it, it's all because of effort that completely takes away any responsibility you might have to, to make sure other people can have the same success you have done. You know, I think Molly May can say, yeah, I did. I mean, it, you're right though, Aaron. I mean, someone who's going to stand up and say, I worked really hard for my success. She's not a good example of that. Like some, some people who are very successful did work very hard and they made important innovations, which has changed our lives. So she just looked pretty on telly and then got a marketing deal with, with a clothing company. So for her sort of dead ideology, which she is pushing forward, she's not even a good advocate. Uh -huh.